Hey guys, this is Neil Waterhouse. Today I want to talk to you about one percenters. One percenters are tasks that we do that make less than one percent of difference to our business after 12 months. We all kind of get sucked into these and certainly I certainly do as well. Now what I try to do to stop myself getting sucked in as much is I have a pop-up coming from my diary once a week that says one percent. As soon as I get that, I stop, I look at what I'm doing, I look what's in my diary for the next couple of days and see if there's anything there that I can, can get rid of. How often have you been to a seminar or read a book and you make a big list of all the to-dos, you know, your to-do list from the book or the seminar saying what to do? Now, and then 12 months goes past and how much of those, you know, those tasks have you done? Like, you know, I'm going to run another seminar in a couple of weeks, uh, which I attend every year. And it, I always reflect back to what I've done. I take my notes from last year and I read them on the plane and look at what we've done. Now, w what I try to do after seminars these days, based on the 80-20 principle, 80% of the results come from only 20% of our actions. So, of course, after the seminar, reading the book, you try to sort them all out by what's going to give you uh, the biggest return. When we do the task, we try to break things down into the $2 on our work, the $5 on our work, $8, $15, $20, and $100 an hour, and $1,000 an hour work. That being, the $2 on our work is any task that we can outsource to VA, so our uh, uh, overseas virtual assistants, which costs us $1.44 US. The, then there's the $5 work, which is really, th sorry about that, it's really the 3 to $4 an hour work because that's, that's what costs for PHP programmers, graphic artists, um, HTML editors, those kind of people normally are around the three to five dollar mark. Next one is the eight dollar. The eight dollar people are, are teenagers, uh, high school uh, students who come into the warehouse and help out in busy periods. They might put stickers on boxes, they might um, take flat pack boxes and sticky tape them into shape, they might print out instruction sheets, staple them together, print out labels, all that kind of stuff, and that's the eight dollar an hour work. The 10 to $15 an hour work is how much we pay for high-end programmers overseas, like people that fix up other people's mistakes, bookkeepers, all those kind of people, the 10 to $15 a mark. The next one's a $20 a mark, $20 an hour people, and that's how much it costs us to get packers uh, to come to the warehouse and pack. Most of our staff, of course, is all overseas because it's way cheaper. Now, the $100 an hour work is the stuff that we should be focusing on as business owners. It's, it's the work we do to build the business, not the work we do just to maintain the business, like not replying to emails and that kind of stuff. It's, it's actually doing some proactive to build the business. So we all get sucked into to working on things and we work on the, on the business, but we're not actually working in it, we're not working on it. And then there's the $1,000 an hour uh, work and the thousand dollar an hour work is is the work you do normally when you're not at the office it's normally when you're not working it's when those great ideas come to you you could be staying in the shower you know you could be out playing golf or you're doing whatever your favorite hobby is personally my favorite hobby is flying radio controlled planes and the amount of times where good ideas come to me when i've been driving my car there driving down a dirt track or there but i'm not thinking about work i'm it's the last thing i'm thinking about i'm just thinking about flying my model planes and chilling out, relaxing. But I get great ideas come to me often then because my brain can do it. It can answer questions, so you, there's, you know, you might have an issue going on and suddenly the, the solution will appear. You know, like you wake up in the morning one day and the, and the solution appears and how, the, how did that happen? Well, it just does. But you need to take time off to do it. Some of the work that we can all get bogged down with, like with, with eBay, what's gonna normally generate more sales the fastest in over a 12 month period. Because mo most people way overestimate what they can do in three months, but they way underestimate what they can do in 12 months. To build a larger eBay business normally just involves adding more products. So it requires product research. Now, some people say, well, you know, how do I add more products when I have my cash flow is an issue? Well, if cash flow is an issue, don't, don't import as many products, import as many as you can, then start doing drop shipping or buy and sell used items. There's a whole multitude of other ways to increase the amount of SKUs you've got listed or the amount of items you've got listed on eBay uh, without requiring cash. Other things can be doing photo editing, you know, you're getting bogged down with that. You know, photo editing is two to three dollar an hour work. Emails, are they crippling you? You know, how about putting in someone to do that overseas? How about putting some software in to automate that as well? All these tiny tasks, you've got to write down what's taking your time. Because as a business owner, the start of building an eBay business is putting an exit strategy in. In other words, an exit strategy so you can perhaps one day sell the business, but whether or not you sell the business is beside the point. If you have an exit strategy, build a business that works without you.
which means you can take time out and do other things in your life that you enjoy. You're an owner, you're not a worker. And the faster you get more products, the faster your business will grow. Any task that you can document in, say, Word or Pages, you know, with your Windows person or your Macintosh person, any, doc, any task that you can document with screenshots and text that you can train a 10-year-old to do, you can very easily outsource to a $1.44 an hour person. Now, 10-year-olds are actually pretty smart. I've got a 9-year-old, and it's quite amazing you know, what they can do these days. So, you know, and I'll actually get her to read some of my instructions sometime and see if she can follow them. Now, if she can't follow them, being 9, I rewrite them. That way, I can just get a VA overseas, give them my instructions, and bingo, they're up and running. So any task that you're doing that you, you can document with screenshots, get rid of it you know it's the quickest way to build your business is get rid of those tasks so you can spend more time building your business yeah when I first started writing instructions I thought oh, here we go this is gonna take me forever to write this go make myself a large copy get a comfy chair sit down start writing but you know many times 15 minutes 30 minutes later the instructions are, I've, I've done it because that didn't really take that long now I've got them saved in Word next time I need to get another VA to do the same task I just email it to them bang done so you know what's crippling you? I'd love to hear your comments. Let me know. You know what are your one percenters? Do you get sucked into the one percenters as well, like I do? You know what? How do you grow your business? What What do you think is the most important? Let me know and leave a comment down below. If you've seen this video on anywhere besides my blog, NeilWaterhouse.com, please come on over. Love to see you. Give me a thumbs up or a thumbs down. Don't mind either way. Please uh, leave a share down below. It'd be great to have a, have a share. Now until next week, guys. List more, sell more. This is Neil Waterhouse.